this topic is regarding shielding in nuclear power plants so before starting this topic shielding in nuclear power plants i would like to tell you the basic meaning of shielding asala shielding ante entante so shielding ante enti ani telusukodaniki nuclear power plant lo shielding ante enti okka sari telusukundam aa tarvata normal ga ఇంగ్లీష్ టెర్మినాలజీలో షీల్డింగ్ అంటే మీనింగ్ తెలుసుకుందాం నెక్స్ట్ దీన్ని దీన్ని ఎలా మనం రిలేట్ చేస్తాం అంటే నార్మల్ ఇంగ్లీష్ షీల్డింగ్ ని ఏ రకంగా న్యూక్లియర్ పవర్ ప్లాంట్ లో రిలేట్ చేస్తాం అనేది మనం చూద్దాం సో జనరల్ షీల్డింగ్ మీన్స్ ఇన్ న్యూక్లియర్ పవర్ ప్లాంట్స్ బేసిక్లీ ఆ షీల్డింగ్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ బికాస్ అన్ అడిక్వేట్ షీల్డింగ్ హ్యాస్ టు బి ప్రొవైడెడ్ టు గార్డ్ పర్సనల్ అండ్ డెలికేట్ ఇన్స్ట్రుమెంట్స్ అండ్ దెర్ ఆర్ వేరియస్ మెటీరియల్స్ దట్ ఆర్ యూస్ ఫర్ షీల్డింగ్ విచ్ ఈస్ యువర్ లెడ్ concrete steel cadmium okay so dear students this is all which is related to your nuclear power plant that means a shielding which is related to your nuclear power plant okay now let me tell you in english terminology what is shielding so basically ikkada meer chusukochu i have provided in the uh, slide itself the actual meaning or in english terminology the shield means a broad piece of metal or another suitable material which is held by some kind of straps or handles attached on one side which is used as a protection against blows or missiles basically the important thing that has to be learned or to be uh, known is that generally a shield means a broad piece of metal okay so here in this image this shield protects you from external things which are coming from external to internal as well as some any internal damage which is getting inside internally that should not get exposed to the external part that is the advantage of shielding now let us see what happens if you does not provide shielding in a nuclear power plant so dear students this is an image of a nuclear power plant blast in which you know like a shielding was provided but then the adequate requirements of shielding was not at all fulfilled that is the reason the modern nuclear power plants are using and uh, they are uh, much more focusing towards the uh, quality of the shielding that needs to be uh, commissioned while using a nuclear power plant okay next now as you can see this is an image which shows what happens when a nuclear nuclear reactor core gets blasted ok nuclear reactor core gani blast avthe em avutund anedi meeku ikkada ee image ni ikkada kanipistundi meeku next already unstable but now teetering next on is just like watch this video after the quake and the tsunami a blast at the daichi nuclear power plant in fukushima this video gives a clear cut description of how a blast once a nuclear power plant blast occurred in fukushima at the containment fukushima they have been breached nuclear power plant this picture was taken directly after the explosion it shows four reactors the one on the furthest left circled in yellow no longer has its outer structure several workers were reportedly injured in the blast engineers at the plant about 240 kilometers north of the japanese capital tokyo have been furiously trying to cool the reactor to reduce pressure in its metallic core in normal conditions the core of the reactor is kept cool by pushing water or coolant through to the top of the reactor as it produces power no difference in an emergency in the next video i will explain to you what actually has taken place in fukushima nuclear power plant blast and i'll explain you what actually has happened but then you have seen a nuclear power plant and you and you have seen what is the importance of nuclear reactor with the first starting two images which are seen in this particular video now dear students let us try to understand one by one each one of each and everything of uh, this nuclear power plant that is number 1 which is your what is or what does shielding 
how does shielding improves safety in nuclear fission dear students nuclear reactors are designed to minimize the risk of exposure to ionizing radiation shielding from the radiation produced in their reactor is provided by the steel casing of the reactor which is then surrounded by several meters of concrete next one what is shielding material the common sheet metals like copper brass nickel silver steel and tin these are the common materials or sheet metals that is being used for the shielding of a nuclear power plant the shielding effectiveness depends upon the thickness and the density and the quality and then finally the physical properties of the metal that is being used the shielding effectiveness shows how well a shield reflects or absorbs or suppresses this electromagnetic radiation in your nuclear power plants next what is shielding in nuclear reactor shields are also used in some reactors to reduce the intensity of gamma rays or neutrons incident on the reactor vessel this radiation shielding protects the reactor vessel and its internals that means the super sensitive sensors the egg uh, equipments inside the reactor the measuring devices and then it protects the reactor vessel and its internals which is called as the core support barrel from the excessive heating due to gamma ray absorption or fast neutron moderation next what material is used for radiation shielding so as told in the earlier part also lead metal is the preferred material for radiation shielding the reason is that lead is highly effective in providing protection from sources of radiation because of this it is a standard used in the design of radiation protection system when it comes to nuclear power plant now let me tell you each different mat materials that is being used in case of shielding of a nuclear reactor that means let me tell me the, tell you the materials that is being used for radiation shielding number one stands is lead it is a common shielding material which has high density that means around 11.3 grams per centimeter cube and it is invariably used due to its low cost and easily available in nature the second material used for radiation shielding is concrete its density is 2.4 grams per centimeter cube and is less efficient than lead but it is very easily available the third one is steel steel has a density of 7.8 grams per centimeter cube it is not an efficient shielding material but has good structural properties it is sometimes used as attenuating shield also see what happens is in case of lead and concrete is whenever there are some chances of blast or there is a, some kind of explosion then there is an immediate breakdown or formation of gap between the concrete walls or lead walls but in case of steel steel has a property of expansion that is the reason it is being used because as i told you it has sometimes an attenuating shield which will which will you know act as an elastic that means it will never get break all of a sudden the fourth one which is being used in shielding processes a shielding material is the cadmium its density is 8.65 grams per centimeter cube that means it is its density is much more than the steel now the reason cadmium is used for shielding is it can absorb slow neutrons by a nuclear reaction the effectiveness of a shielding material depends mostly on the density of the material that we are going to choose next why nuclear energy is bad why nuclear energy is bad you can see in this particular image what happens if you if if nuclear reaction or nuclear reactor disposal materials get comes in contact with humans 
So this prince, this particular image is sufficient to tell you the answer why nuclear energy is bad. See students, nuclear energy has no place in a safe, clean or sustainable future. The catastrophic risk of nuclear energy like the melters of nuclear reactors in Japan or Ukraine. They're far outweigh the potential benefits. New nuclear power plants or the modern nuclear power plants are more expensive and takes longer time to construct so that it could be useful for the human humans and then the destruction or any explosion must not result into devastating problems to human kinds. And they if you have a nuclear or design system modern power plant, you can see the blast and explosion in the nature. It should be environmental friendly. Of course, environmentally friendly, but at least devastating. Okay, next. Finally, what I can do, tell you in this particular topic is no single material is effective in shielding against all types of radiation. A material. A material containing hydrogen, example, water or polythene is used to slow down the fast neutrons, boron or steel is used to absorb thermal neutrons. Whereas a heavy material like lead is needed to act as a thermal shield to absorb gamma rays. As you, as you can see in this 3D diagram, in nuclear power reactors, a thermal shield of several centimeters thick steel surrounded by about three meter thick concrete is used. The water in concrete slow down fast neutrons, iron, barium, or steel turnings are mixed in concrete to attenuate gamma rays and absorb this thermal neutrons in case of protection or in case of shielding in nuclear power plants. So finally, students, as you can see in this particular image, uh, I have mentioned six important things that needed to be shielding and that are the main, com what you call the main properties of a nuclear reactor core. The number one stands for is fuel crystal grid. Second one is fuel rod cladding. Number three is reactor pressure vessel. Now see number three is very important because the reactor pressure vessel, it is generally, you know, like uh, manufactured with the help of stainless steel. Number fourth one is the biological shield. The biological shield, it will, it will be helpful in absorbing the alpha, beta, gamma rays, and sometimes it is also useful in absorbing the neutrons also. Number fifth is containment with sealing skin. That means there is no chance of any uh, leakage of neutrons. And finally, number sixth is reactor building. And this is the main important category, sixth one, reactor building, because it is made up of complete concrete structure. And finally, there is control rods and circulation pumps. So dear students, this was all about your shielding in nuclear power plants. I hope you like this video. In the next class, we'll discuss something good about the effect of radiation on humans, the radioactive pollution, and then types of radiation and cause and effects of radiations in our very next video. Hope you have liked this video. If you have liked it, please like it. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day.